Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're talking about water filtration. Such a uh, there's such a diverse and brands of all types of filtrations on the market today. Uh, I've used quite a few, and I've you know I've come I've come across some new ones, and I really do like the new versions. But before I get to that, let's go through all the, what the choices are available today. And some of them are chemical based, some are just natural using material obviously boiling and so forth. So in front of me down below here, I'm gonna pick up one by one and show you. Um, we'll start with the one of the oldest, is the, the meal bank bag. You know, this is bulletproof. This is such a lovely, lightweight, very useful. It's tightly woven uh, um, bag. It's been used since World, I think World War One and World War Two. Or as you get a stream fill up to the black, to the line here. And then once it goes down to the back line, then you start filtering it. Uh, obviously, the one uh, drawback on this, if you do not dry it properly, it can go mouldy. So wash it out real good, rinse it up hard as you can, and let it hang, hang dry, drip dry. Very useful. Uh, I'll, no matter what, I still take this with me because this is very useful. The second types is obviously um, purification tablets. They've been useful decades as well just you know you've got the old oasis type and you've got the bottle type uh, uh, colines colines yep just you put one one uh, tablet of either one into your your can canteen and give it I think it's a half hour one hour you know always just give it a good shake but like I said some of these are chemical based so that's not and then sometimes they have a bad taste as well so it's down to you like me I prefer to try and go as natural as possible uh, obviously, the other, the other one is obviously boil your water in your canteen. Obviously, you've got to have a good quality canteen. I will wisely, wisely suggest to you, please, use stainless steel. It doesn't leak. Uh, obviously, good quality stainless steel as well. There's stainless, there's stainless steel out there which are low quality. It's mixed with other metals. So please get a high grade quality stainless steel container. Don't use aluminum. And, and other types, you know, they do leak uh, chemicals into your um, your water, and it's not going to be good for you in the long run. These, the other type is the pump version. Some of them are iodine based, and some of them are uh, other chemicals used. Put down to your contain, con container, wherever it is you want to pump, and then just put, you know, sorry, pardon me. You put this into the water. I always put a bit of nice uh, finely woven cotton on the end then you're, you've got the spout what goes into the container and then you just simply just pump it away pump away pump away until you filled up the container and that's it job done right uh, the one I've come across now and I'm very impressed with and I'm very happy with and it could such a long-term use and it's just really you know it's not that expensive you know uh, I like it and it's uh, the soya the, um, Filtration. This one, I think, is around 25 pounds, 30 pounds. It does come through a few attachments. It comes with a nozzle, so you can put directly into a water and, and drink from it. It does come with a, a container, which is very, extremely strong uh, plastic. I think it's BPA-free as well. And uh, it's, I am very impressed. It's such a small thing. You can see the size of my hand. Well, I've got big hands anyway, but it's a small little thing that puts you in the power have one in the car, have one hiking, it is brilliant. Uh, sometimes if it does get blocked up, all you do is get the uh, pure uh, clean water and through the drinking end and just pump it through and it, and it flushes out any uh, anything was blocking and you're good to go again. Now, a lot of filters they give you uh, like a use, use by day or how much they give you, so like for, you might use about five gallons of water, 100 gallons of water. This one, soy, soy, it gives you 100,000 gallons of use. Then you might be thinking, for that little thing, yep, so I asked them, and it's on the website, even when you look in Amazon, it says 100,000 gallons of use. For well, that's about 25 to 30 pounds. I'll say to you, that is money well spent. But it doesn't stop there. That's the baby one. Here's the daddy one. 
the daddy one <laughs> it's amazing I asked them I said look how much is I've heard rumors is it a rumor is it true and they confirmed this one goes to one million gallons of water that's like a lifetime for your family this one little thing still smaller than my hand fits in your pocket in your backpack in your car glove compartment where it is can you imagine you just buy a, a handful of these you can I don't know I, I actually done a little water test as well I tested my water at home just normal tap water and uh, basically uh, it was around 267 on the, the, the water fil filtration device and I done the seven stage reverse osmosis filter and that came down to uh, what was it I think it was around 45 so it's a big gap between the tap water and seven stage filtration now bear in mind I haven't uh, cleaned the filter on time this time around I'll get back to it so I tested this this uh, came out and it worked out to about the same as a seven stage or a reverse osmosis filter it was just I think it was one digit more 45 or 46 I can't remember but that was it kind of surprised me because there I'm using at home a seven stage reverse osmosis filter I know it will filter more possibly more things this is still very impressive in my eyes. This was around, I can't remember exactly how it was, 60 or 70 pounds. But it's still, you cannot argue with this. I honestly do believe, you know, that as time goes on to, into the future, we're getting better and better at water filtration. Now this can be used in, in, in third world countries, in, you know, where you know, water is not that, it's got a few issues. This is my choice of today now. Taking it out, I do not leave home without it. I've always got one in my car, you know, and I always keep one in my pack. I'll keep, you know, wherever I'm going, if I'm, I'll carry both of them. But I do carry some of the other items just in case if you never know it does happen, you can lose it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video today and I hope it's, it's been informative. And uh, until next time, you have a nice day.